you know, what we, we did what we had to do to get the two points, uh, you know, played a simple game, and just uh, stick to our game plan, and, and we got the win. The goal that led to your breakaway, you were able to get the puck on the stick after uh, Dowdy tried to either make a pass or throw it on the net. Uh, yeah, kind of just a lucky, lucky uh, bouncer, I guess, just knocked it out of the air and, and kind of just stuck with me and, uh, you know, went down and, and made my move and, uh, yeah. Twice after you guys tied the game, uh, they came back less than a minute later to regain the lead. It, it could have been demoralizing to a lot of teams, but you guys stick with the play. Yeah, you know, uh, we know Kari's gonna gonna be there for us, and uh, it doesn't matter if we're down one, two goals. Uh, you know, he's gonna make the saves, and, and we're gonna capitalize on our opportunities. And uh, you know, we did that tonight, and uh, he kept us in there, did a great job, and uh, and Brendan got a, a big goal there for us. How much, how, how important is it that every game these, you know, last couple of months and the rest of the way is going to be like a playoff game atmosphere? Yeah, they're all going to be close, uh, tight games, and, and we definitely seen that on this road trip. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we expect it, and it uh, just goes back to our game plan. Just stick with it, keep it simple, and, uh, you know, take advantage of the opportunities. What is it about the Kings that makes them so tough to play? No, I think they're just a good team, all-around team. Uh, from the back end uh, all the way up to the forwards. They, uh, they play a solid game, tough game, and uh, you know, that's why they're a good team. Yeah, you yeah. took a pretty big shot from Clifford near the penalty box there. Does it make it that much more satisfying to come back and get the huge goal to not it up? Uh, you know, it's just hockey. Uh, you know, he had a good hit there, and uh, you know, I guess uh, the goal might rub it in, but uh, you know, I think the two points are the things we needed. He gets his 17th goal, fourth shorthanded. Let's take a look at that shorthanded goal. And the Stars have been very good in this category, one of the best teams in the NHL. Uh, how did you like where he went with that? And, and is that now his, his move to go I, to? I, I think that's the thing about him. I don't think he really has the move. He's not going to use it every time. And it starts with just hand-eye coordination right off of the uh, – well, this is the flashback here where he picks the pocket – of Doughty again the last time I think it was the second game that uh, Dallas played in LA and, and uh, you know this one here it just starts with great hand-eye coordination right here to knock it down but here is where he keeps it you see where he keeps it on his stick in a shooting uh, position yeah. so it, it kind of freezes Bernier and then at the last second he opens up his legs and he slides it through that five hole so but we've seen we've seen him shoot we've seen him deke uh, he's got a variety of things that he's gonna do and I think that my guess is that's what keeps it tough for the goaltenders is that, and they all watch shootouts and they watch guys and they get a book on guys. And if you don't continue to do the same thing over and over, and I go back to James Neal, I don't know how many times James Neal in the shootout hit that post. You know, they try to go up that blocker side and, and James would hit that post all the time. And, and I think with Jamie, what we're seeing was we're seeing different things with him. And, you know, and again, he's fresh into the league, so they don't really have that much of a book on him right now. And my guess is, is he's going to keep on trying new things and kind of keep him off their off balance. So quick, great hands, yeah. really fun to watch.